Today we're going to be talking about Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is most famous for having devised the theory of evolution and more specifically of natural selection. He was a, like a spoiled rich kid. He seemed to have a general sort of obsession with earthworms. He met this guy at school who was like, wow, you're so smart, you're so interested in, you know, beetles and worms. Do you want to come with me on this cruise? They called it a cruise because it was on a boat, but it's not like, woo! It's like a long ride on a ship. Do you want to come with me on this cruise? The HMS Beagle, you know, it's going to take three months, but it might take a year. Yeah! Can I please go, Dad? Can I please go? No! Please, 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 please. Okay, you can go, and here's all the money that you'll need. And it ended up taking five years. He's on the HMS Beagle. And he's got like his Bible with him all the time because he's super religious. This is a moral code, guys. And everybody on the ship was like, oh, Darwin's such a nerd. Oh, I know. Dork. So he met this ex-slave who taught him taxidermy. And he was like, this guy is awesome. Slavery sucks. But then he also believed that women were inferior to men due to natural selection. He was a collection of contradicting ideas and behavior. Racism sucks, but sexism is awesome. Inbreeding is bad. I'm gonna marry my cousin. Overpopulation is a problem, but I'm gonna have 10 kids anyway. So he was like, I don't know if I wanna get married or not. And he kept a journal and he had a, a pros and cons list. Here are the advantages if I marry. A constant companion, a friend in old age, better than a dog anyway. Here are the cons if I marry. Um, I would have less money for books. It would, it would be a terrible loss of time. And then he decided, I'm gonna get married anyway. So he talks to his dad about it and his dad's like, don't mention science, don't mention transmutation. Okay, yeah, no transmutation, got it. He goes and he's like, hey Emma, um, here are my theories on transmutation. And I'm just gonna talk at you about this and it's really interesting. And he never got around to proposing. <laughs> then eventually he proposed and they get married and, um, and he eventually became an agnostic because he couldn't understand why a benevolent God would cause this wasp that paralyzes a caterpillar and injects its eggs in it so that the caterpillar is still, while the caterpillar is still alive, so that the caterpillar is live food for the wasp eggs, which is horrifying. He wasn't even like really trying to figure out what the origin of, of species was. He was more concerned about worms and beetles and plants and geology than he was about evolution. It was his hobby. And he said that when he published his findings on natural selection and evolution, he said it felt like he was confessing a murder. He hated photos of himself um, in his youth. He said that if he looked anything like what he looked like in his pictures, it was a wonder that he had any friends at all. And then he eventually ended up growing a big beard, which I think was probably just to hide his ugly face. <laughs> so mean. He believed that humans were animals, and I think he was the first person to say that. And because he said that there's no unbridgeable gap between animals, there's no unbridgeable gap between humans and like a bear. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss our next video about Queen Elizabeth I. As always, live long, prosper, and be kind to animals.